Good morning. Welcome, everyone. This is the Lone Lobos Podcast. Lone Lobos. And I am one half of your freshly um, European uh, host, Sholo Mani Duanya, joined by my co host. <laughs> is this British? Yeah, but everyone, it's kind I'm of like. This is actually French here. Yeah. Well, no but, doing this to me. well, but when you're out in Fashion Week, actually, not many people are from. France. Yeah, you have people from other places, Korea, oh, from UK. Germany? Some people from Germany. I think actually the um maybe the the head of Givenchy is oh, from. Wow, he's German. Yeah, but he like all those European guys. You know that that um, like just the year like, what was that woman uh, that Julia Gardner played that like she faked her accent to make it seem like she was really well-traveled. Like, it seemed like a little British, Australian. Yeah, just like, like how weird. A lot of people, uh, there were that. a lot of people like that, where I was like, oh, shoot. Like, yeah, I was born in Germany, but I'm Korean, and I grew up in the UK. This like this sort of deal. But, um, wait, you, you're not the one half, bro. Second half. Oh, yeah, I'm the uh, second uh, more French half of uh, this podcast. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jacob's got on my veteran. Jacob, we are joined with our wonderful producers. Wait, <laughs> you have a hat, but you're not wearing it. Hat? Why is this? You have a... Uh, How am I supposed on? to know what you do here if you're not... You are just what? Take off the tag. You are... No, keep the tag on. What? No, don't what? keep the tag on. Keep the tag on. The tag is the best part. Ah. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's a producer. Oh, and he's a nomad. And he's, yeah, he's a nomad. Yeah, I'm everywhere. <laughs> and... I wasn't cool enough to get one of those hats. Hey, wait, and now you what guys you can do your very own glass clink. Oh. I Well, I was out in Paris. I went to this place. Angelina, I guess it is a, I don't know, well-known for hot chocolate. I don't do sweets. I had hot <laughs> chocolate, but so I brought some back from the team. For you, Jacob, also from Angelina. A present. Oh. oh. I know There's that a you, little cannot, doggy door. you cannot have chocolate, so... Oh, it's a fancy little French cookies. Oui, oui. Marrons. Marrons. Which also oh, have a little bit of dairy, but less. But the <laughs> so, le- <laughs> a little bit so. of shit. So it's just farts. But you can you I can try to it. guess the flavors. Like obvious, like some of them are more obvious. This one is hamburger. Yes, <laughs> that is that's, <laughs> that's that is a- my favorite one. I like the savory macarons. Hamburger. I had there was like a beef goulash one. I really Wait, loved. What? Not JK. No, JK. Oh, oh, so you had me. I had you. I had you. I had you. Um, but. Yeah, I wanted to just, just do a really oh, yeah, quick. I'm back home. I was gone for a week. Um, thank y'all for holding it down. Um, y'all, the audience didn't even know. Whoa. That's how that's how quick we are on the Lone Lobos podcast. Um, but dude, so I went out to Paris Fashion oh, Week. Um, maybe that one is caramel or yeah. Dulce de Leche or something like Dulce that. Um, so I went out there. Shout out Givenchy. I went out there to do the Paris Fashion Week. As I hear, this is my first fashion week. I'd never been before. As I hear, if you're not in the first row, you didn't go. Okay? Oh, that's right. So, yeah. So, so as I'm getting dressed, I'm thinking like, I see my seat is AA150. I'm like, Ooh. okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, first maybe. First row? Yeah. I, I, but, well, I get there and there's only a first row. So, every, oh. every, every like everyone was in the first row. Still really cool. It was myself. Sonny Sujic, mm-hmm. skater, Jared Leto, Paul Dano. But so I, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to just have the be a name drop podcast right now. But there was one moment that I do have to name drop with okay. Paul Dano because he's, you know, we, we, I like, I was feeling a bit out of my element in the fashion scene. And, and there were people from like K pop groups, artists, musicians. Like it wasn't just, it was everyone. Yeah. And so the show ends, really cool shows, like a work wear. Like I was wearing it, it felt um, like you you have those the double knee pants. And how the, does Paris Fashion Week work? It's like one brand puts it on, or like so it depends. Like for myself, brand? for myself, I was going with Givenchy. Okay, so they were like the stuff that you're going to while you're out here. You're going to be wearing our brand, and you're going to go to our show, right? Oh, so there's multiple shows. There's it's multiple not one shows. Show. Oh no, every brand. Louis Vuitton, Pharrell did his Louis Vuitton show, which was incredible. He's the new creative director after Virgil Abloh. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. And he had Whoa. his 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 thing was like a, a festival, though. It was it was a big presentation, really really cool. Um, the Louis one was really cool. Amiri was 
was really awesome as well, but I was going for Givenchy. The show ends, and there are maybe like 200 people there, and let's say 75 to 80 people are starting to walk towards this guy, Matthew, the creative director, to give their congratulations, oh, to wow. say hi, to try to grab a picture. He's the main person to kind of put all this on. Yeah, yeah. He's the guy designing the He's the, the Virgil lines. Abloh for Givenchy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Totally. Um, Kanye used to do Louis. You know that? I didn't know that. Takashi Murakami used to do Louis. I didn't know that. Um, oh, but, that's crazy. And, and yeah, I think Murakami passed it to Kanye. Okay. Okay. Kanye passed it to Virgil, I want to say. That's how it goes. Oh, that's how it goes. You pass it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. some people like, well, I, I digress. We'll, we'll yeah, get yeah, back yeah. into it later. Um, all these people are heading over to talk All these people are heading over. And, and I'm the only one there. Like, I only know myself. There's nobody else that I know. There's not like a contact or someone that I yes, that yeah. is there. Like, I there was a, a contact, but they were busy. Like, uh-huh. so I was just like, all right, I'm gonna go say hi to this guy. And I'm just kind of like waiting, and I'm like uh, 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 for like 45 minutes, because because he's like, you know, giving his 10 to 15 second conversation yeah. with everyone, grabbing a picture, yada yada yada. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, what am I gonna say? That's yeah. gonna be whatever. Bru is Bruna is a really like that's her closest creative director friend. Like she's worked, oh. she's done a ton of the fashion weeks, and and she. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I could bring her. Maybe Data, he'll like yeah. maybe that'll be like, oh, okay, let me get out of psychosis for a second. And as I'm about to like, I'm I see the guy. There's nobody in between now. I'm in the inner circle of this huge wave, and I like like feel over my sh- shoulder, none other, Paul Dano, and I'm like. Oh. I know Paul Dano is bigger than me. If this guy looks over, he's, he's going to look at me yeah. and then look at Paul, Paul Dano. Dano. Go talk to Paul Dano. Yeah, I know. And I was as like, funny. as he should. Yeah. Right? But I'm like, Ugh. So what happens is, sure enough, he's, he's talking like this. He turns around. He sees me. And I go, oh, Matthew, uh, this is Paul Dano. This- <laughs> <laughs> and, and I made the introduction between this, the, oh, the creative director and, and Paul Dano. And then, <laughs> and then they end their conversation, and and then the guy turns around, and, the guy, and I'm like, wait, wait, no, no, no. So, but luckily, I was I was able to. I, I got my high in. I got I got you know a, a quick pick, but it was a it was an interesting experience. I That's will so say, because at the beginning, so it's kind of it's twofold. This this thing happens in two pieces. There's it's like the Met Gala, right? There's the carpet, okay, and then there's the show, okay, right, or I don't know what happens at the Met Gala. It's a secret. Yeah, I was like, I they, don't they're, know. they're never supposed to tell. Um, so the carpet is getting out of the car into, they have like barricades of people like, oh, oh wow. And the, this place that we were at was like a, um, an old hospital for the armory in France back when they were in war. Oh, damn. So it's a massive building, yeah. you know, big cobblestone pathway to these like blue ornate gold gates. And then right outside there, there's like the driveway that the cars are pulling up to Whoa, one, one by cool. one, right? And right as I'm about to get out, like I'm like, oh my God, I'm fucking, it's, I'm in this big ass leather jacket. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be so scary. I'm going to walk out. <laughs> What if nobody knows who I am? It like, is what just if- you. Just me. Yeah. And the driver, and I'm like, we're just chatting. And he's like, oh, you know, it's your first time. I'm like, oh, good luck. And I got- <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm like, okay, okay. There's a car in front of me, and then I'm about to get out. And the car gets out, and it's none other than Mr. Long, you know, butter hair, blue eyes, oh. Jared Leto. Yeah. And I was like, shit, talk. Fuck. I've gone Not after Jared Leto. Jared he's Little. like the for, he's like the fashion god. Yeah. He's like, I'm pretty sure like he just walks out and goes like this, and everyone's everyone eyes are just like, uh, yeah. But but uh so I'm like, okay, it's whatever, you know, Paul Dan or uh Jared Leto's got out, whatever. I'm get to get out. I get out, people are still on Jared Leto. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so like it's okay. It's like, whatever. You're I'm like just, shooting the back yeah. of his head. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and then he goes, but like I'm already towards the end of like this carpet at this point. <laughs> like everyone has been, and I'm like, okay, you know, hopefully he leaves. And then who walks out right after is like, I, I, for, I, am, I, I can't come with the name, but it was a K-pop star. Oh my that god! That was that so that like, came out in the car what? after me, and then that was even bigger than Jared Leto, <laughs> and I was there like sweeping <laughs> the rest of it. Overall, ten out of ten experience. The the like the building crazy, 
the show, the actual show, really cool. But yeah, this moment right there. Why were you standing like this? Because like Dude, the jacket. It's hot. Is, well, you okay. look like you're you look like you're about to play football. Well, no, have like, you seen that Robert red, Pattinson red photo 41, that I on red forty two and you're like. Yeah. <laughs> People were leaving comments no. like, man's really sad. And they just put the emoji of the dude standing there. Dude, yeah. I, I saw like, mom, I threw up. I saw, I saw, mom, I saw I like, up. I saw that. I, I posted the Robert Pattinson one. Because yeah. that's, that's the one it reminded me of. But it's funny that you say that because as I was getting dressed, I was like, You're like trying to I? think of how to do it. Because it's a really long coat. And the shoulders were a little bit long. It's like an oversized thing. Yeah. So there's not much shape on me, right? So I was like, this I found was the coolest thing, right? Yeah. Like covering my arms. But then the jacket was like was closed and you couldn't see the middle of it or the pants and everything like that. So I was like, I guess I'll just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but usually, right? When you do something like this, as Jacob knows, maybe like… They'll, they'll, like, that was, that was the test shot. That would have been the test shot. Yeah, and then yeah, I would have, yeah. and then I would have, you, you move know, somewhere, do something but else. But they did the like, test shot and they were like, thanks. I'm sure those things are so fucking chaotic that they're just like, uh, uh, oh my God, you get the next person. Like, cause there's yeah, no, so was, many people that go to those things. It was, uh, it was a movie. It was, it was really cool. I got to, yeah. What a the, fucking cool experience though. It was, yeah, it was a fun time. I got to take a bunch of pictures, took a, like, it was a, it was a really fun trip. So, so shout out. Thanks to Jimon Shi, uh, for, for, Extending the the welcome, and I can't wait. Sunny was like, "Where's Jacob, bro?" And I was like, "You know what?" Like as I was looking around, I was like, "Jacob would be perfect for something like this." <laughs> he's always wearing like the ugliest matching outfits. <laughs> he's <laughs> no, um, no. It was it was a it was a fun time. You definitely you're gonna you're next up for sure. But you would, dude. There was there was some there was a guy. Not to take too long of a tangent, but there was a guy who later once I got back. I was scrolling on TikTok and I guess he's like a famous TikToker who was walking the show. And I oh. remembered seeing him, like he had a very specific look and I remembered seeing him. It was just a, Sick. I don't know why I brought it up. But yeah, it was a, oh, there's just like all types of people there. All types of people. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I thought it was just actors that go to those things. No, 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 no. Like, like, I saw like Bakar went. Dame, Dame Lillard watches Cobra Kai. Who's Damien Lillard? Damien Lillard for the Portland Trailblazers. Dame Dalla. Dame Dalla. Dame yeah. Dalla. Okay, he's a very he's a very good basketball player. I'll dunk on him. He likes Cobra Kai. He was the there. Shooter. He was at the no. He oh, was yeah, at this Riley other was there. He was at this other party. That party okay. that I saw Riley at tennis player. Um, and he was like, "Yo, is your back okay?" I was like, "What? <laughs> oh my god!" He didn't <laughs> the hell? I was like, <laughs> "That was his introduction." I just imagine Dame Lillard like in his bed, like, <laughs> "What's gonna happen to Sam and Miguel?" Oh no! What goes back? <laughs> I'm like, Babe, wow, come over really here. Funny. He's like, Did you see Meanwhile, it's real? looking it's looking like I, I was about to ask him, it's looking like he's gonna go to the heat with with Mr. Butler. I don't know really? what's happening. Yeah, he he doesn't wanna I don't know. He don't wanna get into his biz. It's so but, funny that he comes up to you and says probably one of the most like said to you phrases ever. It was well no, so so like, what happened was yeah, he, he was, I I've heard that so yeah. many times just being with you. People yeah. are like, hey, you're back okay? Like, oh, hey, yeah, he was so going good. No, he came up with it first, bro. He, <laughs> he's been. He was, he was the first person. Oh, he was God. like, I wonder if he was sitting there in the car, like, what do I say? What am I going to say? So you were in the car, him. being like, "Fuck, I don't know anyone. This is going to be so awkward. Oh my God, I hope they take my picture." And then he was sitting in the car, going, I gotta "Miguel from line Cobra from Kai is going to be there, <laughs> dude. Damn he me. got snubbed, dude. Um, Damian Lillard. Who yeah, knew? Shout, out, so shout out, shout Miguel out, same dollar, Miggy Simp. Um, Miguel was there, the singer. Miguel was there. Do you know him? But also, while we were away, I did a freestyle. Oh on, yeah! On sway in the morning. Yeah. Um, and a dirty white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hard. Hard. Yeah, you, 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 you. I got in your great head. liaison. Yeah, it was. Well, it was funny because. It fit though. Well, no. What Jordan was saying. Wait, what were you saying, Jordan? Yesterday. Well, I was saying that in the um, in another freestyle we did that maybe you guys will hear. Um, there's a line where you're, you're like, "White girl, Shola loves white girls." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we've been talking about the idol, yeah, Lady Rose Depp, and I was just like, "You're going to Paris, so I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't the know. The stars if it was an are accident. aligning. No, but, so what's but the what I was supposed to, what's say, the supposed to say, let us know. I was supposed to yeah, say. Early nights getting rich sex from a curvy type. That's What's a rich flex. That? Yeah, you heard me right. Okay. But what I said in the moment, I dude, I blacked out the whole thing. <laughs> I was like, dude, we did a forty-five minute interview, and then at the end, he was like, "All what right, 
He was like, yeah, what are we doing all this fucking talking for? Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh shit, it's happening. And all of a sudden, I just was like, I zoned out. Oh. But what I said was, early nights getting rich sex from a dirty white. <laughs> You hear that? All these girls at these comic cons that you go to. If you're a trashy no. white girl. No, not so trashy. Like, <laughs> no, no. like dirty. Like you know, she's dirty. Yeah. Dirty. Like, I don't know. I, I, There's many types of whites, and she There's, was dirty. I know. One. I was saying both of those things in a vacuum. Good. Right. Dirty. Okay. So, but good. did you have right. like? Because I've always wanted to go to France and like okay. have the meet cute of like you're at the coffee shop. Okay. And you like speak your broken French. That's what I'm saying. Like, did I have one? Yeah. Dude, I did have a a crazy meet cute. Okay. But it was not like now it's not anything, but it could have been crazy, right? Ugh. So what's what's happening is Lord. I get to the airport, right? And Ooh, I, is this... I never mind, say your thing. Um wait, did I say something about this? Maybe, Maybe. I don't know. No, no, yeah. Um uh I get to the airport and I'm waiting in the like I guess the lobby, the lobby lounge, whatever, like before lounge, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh before heading over. And all of a sudden, the lady that helped me, that helped escort me over there, comes back and taps me on the shoulder. And she's like, hey, um, there's this, um, can you come over here? Like, there's, I need your help with something. And I was like, okay. Oh, please, can you help me? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, this was in LAX. <laughs> <laughs> she was, hey, yo, she was, come here. <laughs> she was Asian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways. Um, and I, I walked over and there was just like, young woman and and she and what i was being told was because she was 20 and not 21 mm -hmm. she needed a, a chaperone to wait oh you know shit, girl, with her chaperone like because there was they were serving free oh, alcohol oh, yeah, yeah. at the, at the lounge so you needed to so, sit there with her to be like no so, yeah so i basically she so i was like yeah you could you could sure i guess you could we sit, could hang out we could yeah. sit. and yeah that was just that was the meet cute i was forced to sit next to someone. <laughs> And hey, we what chatted are you for it? The yeah, we chatted. Cute? What? What is meet cute? What are you calling it? Meet cute, cute is cute. it's like, like in a romance movie when you guys bump into each other accidentally, like in a supermarket, or when you guys reach for the same orange. That's a meet cute. It's like a it's a coincidence that brings you guys together. That is the start it. of the love story. Oh, right. And she was like, "Oh my god, I was young and like I couldn't get into the lounge, so I got sat next to this random guy to like be my chaperone." And, and he kept feeding me drinks, and I don't know, like I don't no, know what happened. No, no. I blacked out, and the next <laughs> thing I knew, I was no, in no, Paris well, with him. Dude, it was so funny yeah. when uh, I called you and you were like, "Dude, like I," because I asked you the same question. I was like, "Yo, did you have a little like? Do you have any cool me cutes in Paris?" And then you're like, "Bro, I met this girl. Bro, she was totally your type. Oh, oh my god!" <laughs> and I was like, "What? What happened? Nothing." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Amen. It would have been cool. Um, but that was that was my that me was my cute. yeah, that was my me cute. I wasn't I don't know, because I was there alone, I wasn't gonna be like going crazy partying because I was walking home, yada yada yeah. yada. I, I didn't want to be like belligerent and speaking in English. Like you in Japan. Where's my backpack? Dude, I was speaking fucking <laughs> Japanese. I was like Shinkansen Desuka. And they were like Oh, uh, no English. And I was like, I'm speaking fucking <laughs> Japanese. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I know them. Uh, yeah, that's like Duolingo. Tell us about your friend, the film festival. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, I was out in New York. I'm seeing Bo today. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're seeing our boy, Bo Mitchell of, um, we know him on the pod from Cobra Kai as Brooks. Our favorite um, frat guy. South Carolinian. South Carolinian. Um, and now he's also in a, a Tribeca movie that I got to go see while I was in New York called The Line. The Line. With Alex Wolf in the titular role. Um, and they play these kids in Oklahoma. It was filmed in Oklahoma. I don't know if it was actually, but like in the South. Oh, it was like Ohio or something. I remember. It's about a frat. About yeah. And um, it was intense. You know who I think was maybe my favorite character, though, is that guy right there, that fourth guy from Euphoria. That guy. Austin Abrams. Austin Abrams. Look at his face. Jacob definitely knows who he is. Angus Cloud was in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Halle Bailey was in the movie. So basically, what this director, the director led the movie by saying two things. I'm trying to remember them. He said, just because something is tradition doesn't mean it shouldn't be questioned. Right, I guess. I.e., just because you know these frats have a long history of doing some of these 
like historically negative hazing like hazing thing, tactics thing, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't mean just because it's something tradition that's, it should yeah. still be there yeah yeah um and he also said there's this mantra of the movie that says can we maybe look up the phrase it's like the fish who opens his mouth doesn't get fed as in when you're a fish the second you like Oh, open your mouth. The that's hook. when you get caught. So a, a fish dies by the open mouth. If a fish d- didn't open his mouth, he'd never be caught. Yeah. Ah. So a fish dies by the open mouth. There you go. So um, stop your yapping. Yeah. So stop Gosh, your yapping. Yeah, the rest yeah, of the public. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna but have, I can cut that. that um. Way. But the part that was crazy is, so Alex Wolf and Bo play the two like leaders. President, no, 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 no. Oh, there is a president. There's there's a senior. These guys are sophomores. Uh, Bo and who plays Bo? His name is Bo. I think in the movie. That's so awesome. Um, and Alex are these guys who are sophomores who are running this year's like hazing. Like yeah, I guess hazing, but it's really like a retreat. Okay. And it, the movie starts with the the dean of studies basically saying like, "Hey, no hazing this year," right? And the senior told the the sophomores no hazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, just go out there, have a good time, and let's choose the right guys. But these guys aren't going to listen to that. They got hazed. The yeah, they no exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, that's and that's kind of like the gripe. Bo plays the son of the owner of the frat, okay. like a really so he's like a, a papa's son. Like what do you call those? A daddy's boy, yeah. like. He had a tremendous arc throughout the movie. Alex Wolf has a great arc. Um, but this kid right here, Austin, what's his name? Austin Abrams. Abrams. He plays a freshman mm-hmm. who is the only one, which is kind of weird. He's like super resistant towards the the hazing. He's like a loud mouth, always talking back, doesn't give a fuck. Like he's always just like, he he's not for the this he's belittling, for, right? Yeah. And... He's he has a scene, you know, sort of, it's, it was it's really good. Where I was like, holy crap. And Bo too. Both of them. The acting was great. I just was like, I just didn't know like just the frat story. I don't know why. Like, it was just kind of like, this is bad. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, I agree with you. This is and bad. Yeah, I was yeah. like, like yeah, why everyone, are frats a thing? You don't know the story behind it or that specific frat. I think this might have been a made up frat. Mm. They did have like certain clips of actual incidences like on televisions, like playing in the background of people who actually, you know, suffered uh, or or passed at the hands of of hazing. But yeah, I, I definitely would suggest it. It was a, it was a good flick and a slow burn too. Like the first half is just like Project X frat, super like super funny. funny, super comedic. Bo is hilarious. Like all of them are so funny. And then slowly, 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 like they go out there, and then it's nighttime, and then you know they're drinking, and now it's it's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, definitely yeah, would cool. suggest. When he was, uh, I saw him right after he finished filming, it and he was like, "Dude, it's a sick, like it's crazy." They shot it in eighteen days. What? Yeah, what? it was a really quick shoot. Um, but definitely would go suggest. Um, the line, go support the Bo. line, go support our boy Bo Mitchell. Um, and yeah, did you see any movies recently that you were? I just watched uh, Legends of the Fall with my parents. It's like an old Anthony Hopkins Brad Pitt movie where he's got like hair down to his shoulders and he's like in full like dreamboat mode. Who chose it? Who um, chooses the movies in your house? It super varies, honestly. Most of the time, it's my mom who chose this one. My mom, interesting. Why, yeah. What you say about it? Um, my mom and my dad both really like this movie, and it's based in Montana, and they just love Montana, <laughs> and they were just like, "Yeah, let's watch this." And I was like, "Okay." And do they like Yellowstone? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's they, funny. They just started watching Yellowstone. They just got oh, okay. it. Okay. They for the longest time wanted to watch it, and we never had Paramount Plus, mm-hmm. and so I just set up Paramount Plus for them. I've set up like their entire TV system, and I'm the least like technologically advanced person. Ever, but I'm the most technologically advanced Bertrand. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, super rough. But um, Thumbs it was up? pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's a slower movie, and it all just like hinges on this one girl who just fucks everything up. 
it's basically a, a family with three boys. And there's this guy who's this Native American who like grows up with everyone. And he describes her as water that freezes onto a rock and just shatters it. Like she just came into huh. their lives and just wrecked their lives. Did you agree with that? Yes. She's, oh, okay. Do you think the audience is supposed to agree with that? I, I don't or know. Or was it put up to she, like… She basically… The youngest brother, Samuel, comes home. And he's like, oh, I have this fiance. Wait, no, don't, wait, wait. Oh, it's an old movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He basically is like, oh, comes home. Oh, I have this fiance. I'm going to marry her. World War II happens. And he's like, oh, we have to leave. go. So all three brothers leave. And do they think they die? Is it like one of those no, where… No, Samuel dies. The okay. he's going to get married. They come back. The two other brothers, Brad Pitt and this other guy, both fall in love with this girl mm. who's supposed to marry Samuel. Mm. She chooses Brad Pitt. Then Brad Pitt starts having all his PTSD from the war because his brother died. And he like leaves on some soul-searching mission. Then she marries the other brother. Oh, wow. And they start living together. And then Brad Pitt comes back. Do you and, like that that um, like conflict? How like, one woman sleeps with all three brothers? Well, no, no, no. Like in brothers. <laughs> like What's crazy about that though is like the conflict of like, oh, they were dead or like dating a sibling. Um, one of my friends right now is going through that where his ex-girlfriend is dating his little brother. What? Whoa. Yes. That's rough. Yeah. And he told us and we were like, what the hell? He's like, yep. Vinny's dating Jade. We are like, what? That's, that's fucking weird. I mean, he was like, I mean, it's going as good as it can, you know. It's, He's like, I've been it's there. Been, it's been How? pretty chill. And I was like, that is not chill. How right? little is the little brother? Bambi. <laughs> um, he, they're the same as me and Blake. That's pretty wild. That's... Can you imagine that? Um, I mean, you don't have a brother. But. Yeah, it's just weird. No, I'm. Yeah, I could. It would be odd. You I dated suppose. a girl that then dated Oshun. What? That'd be weird. Wait, he's not dating his own sister. No, I said you date a girl that then that girl dates Oshun. Oh, um, yeah, that might be odd. <laughs> that might be odd. <laughs> so a couple, a few more dynamics in there. <laughs> that, that might, be, that but, might uh, be odd. Um. Are you a talker in an Uber or are you not? Are you just kind of quiet? It, um, I, you take my the lead? default is I will not talk and I'll just sit and play my Game Boy. If, because anytime I'm Ubering somewhere, I was like an have, unaccompanied minor. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Well, he doesn't speak to me. <laughs> um, take me to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we stop at the Ghirardelli factory before? Um, no, but. Uh, but if they're chatting with you, you're, you're done. Some people just start talking. Like, yeah. The, uh, there's this one guy um, who I won't say his name, but he always picks me up. It's like whenever we get picked up for a Cobra Kai, or whatever, a lot of events, this same guy will always pick me up. And he had like I actually love talking to him. Okay, he has the craziest stories. He used to be a professional ref in Colombia. Okay, and the cartel tried getting him to throw games. Okay, and he was like, he it's <laughs> funny. He's like. He always goes, Mr. Jacob, I love soccer. I would never do that. I would never throw a game. <laughs> and he got kidnapped by the cartel, like a bag over his head, everything. They're like, you will throw this next game. Uh -huh. And he was like, I wouldn't do it. So, so I moved. I fled. <laughs> like I, wow. I fled the country. They wanted to kill me. Wow. I moved my whole family out here. He lives like out by me. And like he'll too specific. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what a what a really big like Damn. decision tree difference. And then those guys out in Columbia were like, okay, we'll just hire another ref. To throw the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, it didn't change serious. everything. But he was like, I have to take a stand. Yeah. And then I just imagine like just a little <laughs> <laughs> flying away. Dang. Okay. Yeah. That is that's way yeah, that's way better than He's mine. He's really cool. Yeah. So what else in Paris? Did you get to go to any? Other cool events, hang out with some other cool people. Did you eat some? Stand on any couches. Baguettes. I didn't have a single baguette. Really? I yeah, how was say, the food? I didn't have a single baguette. It was just so run and gun. And dude, the schedule out there was so different. Like my even right now, my sleep schedule is so wackerdoodle. Like we would go to bed at like 7 a.m., wake wow. up at 10, like just stay up all day. What take, were you doing at in the morning? Like at 10 or yeah. early in the morning? Mm-hmm. Paris. I was in fucking Paris. I wanted to do stuff. I wanted to walk oh. around and take pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, 
I, I was only there for like three days, three full days. So I was like, I gotta, gotta just run and do it all. Um, I did have some good food. I had steak frites, super, super yum. I'd never really had, I like, this type of steak frites, it had like some sauce on it. Super yum. Like French onion thing. soup. That's my. That's one of my favorite dishes. So I had to go get French onion soup. Um, had some sushi while I was out there. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was bomb. I don't like the No. You're not into it? The one before was better. There's a pistachio one. Oh my God, I love pistachio. Um, but yeah, that was... Saw, saw the boy Denzel Curry. That was cool. He was he was really nice. Finally got to link up. With yeah, him. he wants to. He wants to. I was telling him. Yeah, my boy trains with Cheeto. Trains with <laughs> Cheeto, so he can fuck you up in in Muay Thai. And, Hell yeah! And he was like, "Oh, word. All right, that's funny." So, but he's been training for a year, so I think maybe you got him. And got he him. said, he said, and I'll make it known here, I'll, and I'll have to remind myself to do it. He was like. I want to be in Cobra Kai so badly, bro. Let me put me in, coach. He was like, put me in. I was like, I want to fuck up Robbie. He was like, <laughs> really? <That's laughs> he so he went like this. He was like, I don't even want to like know karate. I just want to be like this. I, I want them to ask, you know, do you know karate? Mm -hmm. And do you know him, karate? So he'll be like, nah, but I know whoop ass and just like <laughs> beat up, just like a total like 80s, 90s. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Whoop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. So he said, let's make it happen. So yeah, it was Denzel Curry. Uh, yeah, Denzel Curry. I want to get Cheeto on. I think he's that would be only a few years older than us. Really? Yeah, he shaves his beard. He looks just as young as us. I'm, I'm sure. I don't even know what he looks like. Um, he's a Florida native. Florida native. Denzel but yeah, I was, Curry. I was like, you peeped that, you peeped that freestyle, bro. <laughs> I was like, here. Did you tell him that or no? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. What did he say? He said, nah, he didn't. He didn't hear. It. Oh, he does look young. But you know who did hear it? Who? Marshall Mathers. Eminem. Really? He, he gave the thumbs up, yeah. What? Where did you see that? <laughs> uh, one of the, well, one of the homies was good friends with him and, and sent it to him. Whoa! He, said, yeah, he was yeah. like, yeah. He was like, yeah, cool. That's it's, sick. Yeah. So, so now I'm ready. I gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep practicing up in here though. Because it's one thing to like, when we do it up here, we do, yeah. When we do it up here, he's the, I am the one, the son, the one, don't need a gun to get respect he's up on the street. Guy? Yeah. Wait, he was really young when he really said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was like he used, he used to roll around. around. He used to roll around with XXX Tentacion and Ski Mask. They're he all from Florida. He must have been like 17. Yeah, he was a yeah. youngster. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and yeah, he, he was a cool cat. Um, but that's a wild song. Like the lyrics of that song are intense, super intense. Yeah, he's got suicidal doors look like Kurt Cobain. Like he's, what? Yeah, he's he's a that's one of his lyrics. Yeah. Holy I shit! I think that's I think that song is called like something Cobain or something. Whoa, yeah, he's, that's crazy! I was ready for Cobra Kai. To, I would love to see know. the what, what is that called? The genius? Like, what do your lyrics mean? Genius. So yeah, genius. I think when he you has said one. suicidal thoughts, <sighs> call it Kurt Cobain. What did you mean by that? Like I would love to see that interview. Yeah, he's he's got a he's got a really intense energy about him. Really, but yeah, he doesn't like he doesn't smoke, doesn't drink. He's just like wild, huh? Yeah, he's a, he's a cool guy. People like that who are just like have a really intense like thing yeah. about them. It would be fun to spar with him. Yeah, no, he's he's he's. I mean, Muay Thai, that's crazy. Just like the pure. Shin work, yeah, is not I love those for guys me. In the hip are like, ah, ah, like the way they grunt and stuff is crazy. Yeah, no, thank you. But so we're starting our partition, dude. That'd be cool. You gotta awesome. hop in and chain with Cheeto. It'd be fun. I texted him. I was like, "Hey, I'm back. Like, uh, I'm I've been running. I'm ready to like do some rounds of sparring." And he was like, "Cool. I'll send you back to your season with a black eye." Uh, and I was like, "Oh, nah. and like we joke around, but every just the way he talks, everything is so." serious mm -hmm. it's just scary like it's still scary has he ever hit you Yo, yeah 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 he is fucking hard i would fight at the weight class that he's do you wear at. a little helmet thing like one of those no. little what just, the heck just glow but why what is the but like at your level and at what he's trying to do with you is it helpful to not wear a, a helmet that early like he isn't like fucking knock me out it's fun to just get like a little uh, would you ever compete? Like, I would like to. If I like got to a point where 
like what is right before the UFC? Or, like, like what are you, are you just like I don't fucking know. street beefs? I don't think it's street beefs. They have like amateur Would you ever do a street beefs? Yeah. No. Uh, I would not? rather do like an amateur circuit. Like they have like little amateur circuits. That's as amateur as it gets, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that is like definitely the most. Like, no, there's still like amateur. Yeah, there's like little amateur stuff. Am. There's people, there's a lot of um, fights on like reservations. Like Warrior. I don't even. Uh, no. In the movie Warrior, that's like UFC. Uh, but they have uh, like a, something called Tough. Like the, okay. the ultimate fighter. Um, Wait, I thought that's the one in Asia. No, no that's, that's one, one championship. Oh, one championship. Yeah, the ultimate fighter is basically they put… I think it's 20 guys or 10 guys on each team. Like this year, it's McGregor and Michael Chandler. Yeah. And so they have they're the like, team captains. They're team captains, and they have their 10 guys fight each other. And then two guys from each team or one guy from each team at the very end, they fight. Whoever wins gets a UFC contract to fight oh, in the wow. UFC. Okay, okay. So it's a pipeline. How long until you could do it? I think if I trained like three days a week for a year, I'd do it. Dude, I would love to do like competitive curling like not oh. know at all how to fucking do it i wish that netflix did this i don't know if you ever watched disney channel when they were doing this but disney channel used to do this thing monica's gonna know what i'm talking about the disney channel games yeah, yeah! dude they were so they were cool. just called the disney channel games yeah they would get all of the like kids who were on disney channel shows and they would do like a decatha marathon and then like, one year they had disney channel stars from around the world come computer. here to the u.s and you had like Sun representing like Disney Channel Japan, Disney Channel oh, Argentina. Yeah. yeah. And they were like in different teams. Yeah. And then they like compete and they do games like this. It would be so much sick. fun if they got like the Cobra Kai cast versus the Emily in Paris cast. And they had but us they do would, like, like super They would like switch curling. you. Like you and Jacob would be on different opposite teams. teams. Oh, and then like draft. whichever team, yeah. team captain. one was given like a prize to donate to a charity of their choice. Huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should do that. Why don't they do that? Dude, it was… I remember as a kid, like, when those would come on, I'd be like, yeah! Like, Did you ever get to… Or, or was that… Old, it was, it was before. You, this oh. was like… I want to say Wizards of Waverly Place. This was like… Was like oh, oh, It was oh, back oh. when Sweet Hannah Life. Montana was big, like, in yeah. 2006. Oh, okay. I even think, kids. like, when Phil the Future was on… Yeah. It was, like, happening… I remember him… That is. Really? Phil, Phil the, the Future? future? Phil. Phil. Is that an animated show? No. no. It's a live action show. Phil, Phil the, the Future? future? Phil the Future, in my head, is that… Yellow dog with glasses on PBS. What? Yeah, I don't know. That's no that's Phil of the Future. That show was great. There's that weird scientist guy. Nah, I don't know Phil of the. Did Future. you watch Even Stevens? No. With Shia LaBeouf? No. Really? No. Wow, the generational gap between us is just so large. It's one yeah. year. Yeah, Even Stevens was. Yeah. The first show I remember watching was Shake It Up. What? what? That, that was, was such a trap. I mean, no, I shouldn't say that. But for like, actually, one thing I never know. I still don't know if, is if the Disney Channel shows I watched when I was a kid are just better than the ones that came out later or if I just got older and didn't think the things were as funny. Like what were the ones wait, you're saying you like which ones are the creme de la creme for you? I liked uh, Even Stevens and honestly uh, but isn't that like you were you were watching that while your sister was in the room or yeah. oh, okay like, okay okay uh, what was it Boy Verse? Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World. World. That Boy was in the world. '90s. Yeah, that's Boy like my, so used to do reruns we watched the really reruns good. growing yeah. up. Oh. Even 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 Stevens, you must have been watching reruns. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It was nothing was live because I remember watching when it was live was Hannah Montana in 2006. I only I remember Hannah Montana a little bit, but it was like Wizards of Waverly Place, Sweet Life, Even Stevens, Feel the Future, and Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World I saw Rico in Paris, or Tico, or what's his name, Nico, Moises Arias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, his name is Rico in it. Yeah, yeah. Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rico. That's yeah, funny. He seems super cool. He does seem cool. I remember the only like Hannah Montana memory I have is there's something where he makes a bet with Hannah Montana. And he's like, all right, and if I win this bet, you have to kiss me on the cheek. And she's like, okay. And so at the end of the episode, he wins the bet. And she's like, okay, I'm going to kiss you on the cheek now. And he's like, okay. And he's like this. And she's going to kiss him. He's like, <laughs> and twist his head. And so they kiss on the lips. And it was like, oh, oh my God. He's like, I stole a kiss. Ha <laughs> ha. Rico. Um, and on that the note. Disney Channel games, bro. We got to do the Netflix games. All right. I'm with it. Is there… We've kind of talked about this before, though. I'm having like a deja vu here. We did talk about doing a roster of our favorite, of our favorite Netflix people. Remember? We did oh, talk about this. Well, a basketball, a basketball team. team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're with it. I definitely want… Um, Squid Game. They'll do anything. 
Oh my God. You know what we so Murder. Great? The first one we're going to do. I pick you. And who would I pick? And then I pick um, Dave Batista. You versus Dave Batista. It's no, a game where you I'm get a you get a clear tube, okay, and you dump two cans worth of spam juice into the t- clear tube. Well, I've seen the one where it's like cockroaches, and then you put your mouth on it. What is going on? And then Dave Batista puts his mouth on it, and you just blow as hard as you can, and you just see the liquid where it's where it's going, and then finally, like whoever loses, it like disappears a little bit and just goes into your lungs. You're like <laughs> spam juice everywhere. All right. You versus Dave Bautista. All right. I got lung capacity, bro. What's well, I was saying? Dave Bautista is big, but you don't know if his lungs are that great. He might reverse Throw. osmosis you and go like… <laughs> All right. It's going to be it's this. gonna be you versus… Um, John Bon Jovi? Nah. You versus <laughs> Tiana Trump. Tiana Trump? Yeah. Which I don't even know if I know that Let's one. Let's look it up. <laughs> I thought there was just an Ivanka. No, you don't no. have to look it up. We'll no. just end the podcast. There. Okay, team everyone versus- else, everyone else on the, everyone else on the pod can look it up. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, I am one half. Thank you so much uh, for joining. I am one half of your goaded blowing half. Je ne parle pas français. Sure. <laughs> Is that how I would say it? Je ne parle français. Hey, there we go. And you? Je ne parle pas. No, um, you do. Well, no, yeah, I'm, you would say, yeah. Je parle en français. Jacob Scott en Jacob bâton. Scott en main bâton. Merci. À tout à l'heure. Ciao. Bacala. This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos. <laughs>